more of both entertainment and sports yeah. today. This is a big night of fun. It's a great evening for people to see. Hi, everybody. It's Doug Nolan. I am here today in Burbank for the 17th annual George Lopez Celebrity Golf Classic. Smokey Robinson, I'm here for my brother, George Lopez. He's my brother, and, and you know, we're very tight. And he has his golf tournament. It's one of the best ways that they have like this. And I play a lot of them. And then the cause is great. You know, and I'm for anything that's doing charitable work to help people who need it. So I'm here every year. And how important is it? I mean, with, there's a lot of talent, but you have that staying power talent. How are you able to, to continue to sustain yourself and still be relevant in today's time? Is it just the blessing? Is it just the gift? It's a blessing. It's absolutely a blessing. You know, and I thank God every day for it because it is a blessing. No, that's one thing. I mean, the opportunity that to be able to reach out, to reach beyond, uh, you know, your your inner circle for you to use celebrity recognition, anything to be able to help those that are less fortunate. Uh, George, you know, he is very big in his kidney foundation. Uh, he wants to be able to help others. Uh, you know, he's a great friend of mine. We've been friends many, many years and support each other. He's at my tournament. He comes on that his. And these are, this is important because, the, you know, the celebrity recognizes, the business community comes involved, and uh, they want to make these associations. And with those associations, great money is raised for these wonderful foundations and the work that we're trying to do uh, individually in communities and also as a group. So, um, you know, this is um, something that we come out here as an enjoyable day. We with other friends, celebrities. And we also do get to do good work for folks, so it makes it real easy. You know, it's a blessing to be able to offer, offer up a service like this uh, when, when most of the time people just ask it for nothing. Okay, so here's my question. When you do uh, Fat Tony, do you really change your voice, or is it more just like you just go with your normal voice? I don't know. That's hard to say. Oh, wait a minute. Where did that come from? Uh, yeah. No, in fact, that I, I channeled my Uncle Willie. My Uncle Willie actually talked like that. So uh, it was my uh, it was my intention to kind of honor my dear Uncle Willie, who was like a was like a second dad to me. And so uh, I remember when I brought him to. The, I think I, I've been doing that voice for 30, 30, I think 32, 33 years now. I think I brought him to one of the recordings, like maybe 10 years into it, and I said, "Hey, I want you to meet my Uncle Willie." And he started talking like this, and it was like, oh, my God. I said, that's right, ground zero for Fat Tony, Uncle Willie. And then how did you come across that job? So Linda Small, who's the executive director of the foundation, found me on Instagram. I work in the golf media space and do a lot of different hosting gigs and content creation. So she found my Instagram and invited me to come be their social media host three years ago. Great. Yeah. Awesome. And what is your Instagram page? It is at New Lady Golfer. Awesome. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate your time. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. I'm here to support uh, George Lopez and this charity that I've played in a couple times before. Uh, I, I think it's rare that you find a charity that is so directly related to someone's personal experience. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm very touched that he's been so open about what he's been through and trying to give that back. I think it's extraordinary uh, and an amazing idea that you can donate an organ. I mean, I'm giving my liver on the ninth. Oh I'm going to give my God. kidney if I win, you know. So I, I, there's a little bit of involvement in this charity. That's right. It's amazing how long somebody can live on somebody else's organ. <laughs> <laughs> there's so many ways that could be taken wrong. <laughs> All right, you're looking good, man. Hi. So my name's Doug Nolan. Hi, Doug. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I finally, I finally got to come and see you uh, in th at the YouTube theater. Oh, great. Okay. Beautiful. Thank Unbelievable. You. Thank you. We are rolling. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you look so cute. Oh, thank you. In your little golf suit. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> so my name's Douglas. I'm a Time Warner. Could you just introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Tisha Allen. I'm a former playing professional and now golf media personality. What? Yeah. You're a professional golfer? Former. Yes, former. washed up now. But now I get to talk I get to talk about golf now for a living, yes. which is great. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. So what was your first experience with golf? Um, well, I actually don't have a memory 
when not playing golf. I began when I was three. Right? Yeah, so oh I've been playing goodness. my whole, whole life. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I, I started when I was seven, but boy, you got me beat on three. Yeah, yeah. At, at seven, I started competing wow. on a junior level. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about that then. Okay. What was your first competition? I was playing in Illinois. I was born and raised there. I played in this little women's event, and I came fourth and I got a trophy, but it was out of four girls. <laughs> so I came dead last. <laughs> And I remember thinking, I can never finish like this again. Right. And so I went on to win first place at that same tournament the next three years to come. Oh, right. And that, it sparked my, my competition in me, yeah. There you go, there you go. So, um, what brought you here today? I'm all, I've actually been going to this event for like the last four or five years now. Okay. And I've become, you know, a pretty dear friend to George. And especially when it comes to anything golf related or even him, whatever he needs, I'll, he says jump and I'm there. Great, you know? okay. So I'm happy to be here for him. Good stuff. Yeah. Right on. I remember I, my first uh, time out on a golf course, I was a par three, okay. seven years old, watched the Jack Nicholas uh, training video. And I was 90 yards and I popped it right on the lip of the green. First no shot. Way. Yeah, yeah. I love that. That's an amazing. Great. Yeah. That's what I was asking about, you know, like, like your earliest memories, you know, and like. Yeah, I mean, I just remember always playing. I, I, I grew up on par three tracks too, but when I was really, really starting out, my dad would actually take me to a baseball field yeah. and he'd have me hit base to base. All right. And that was one of the ways that we practiced before really getting out there, so. Yeah. I love it. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you. it. It was nice meeting you. Great meeting you. Okay, we'll see you later. All right, I'll see you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Oh, wait, can I get a picture? Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Good, brother. How you doing, man? Real good. So I just wanted to tell you, giant fan, first of all. All right. I've worked on every one of your movies since Intolerable Cruelty. Oh, ho, ho. I will nail your ass. <laughs> And then, and then CBS called me in to, to do the launch for The Neighborhood. Awesome, man. That was, well, you've been part of the thing right there. That's what I'm saying. What's your birthday? Yeah, yeah. Happy you birthday. know, me and George got back-to-back -back birthdays. So oh, we, right on. We have a good time when we usually this time of year. My name is William Wilson, former NASCAR champion, now a clothing designer. What? NASCAR? Mm -hmm. Yep. Holy mackerel. And now a clothing designer? Yep. I was the first, first full-time black pit crew member in the history of NASCAR. What? I was the first black guy to win a championship. My rookie year, I was the only non-white guy on earth with my job. <laughs> My rookie year. Who were you, the the pit, would you say the pit? Uh, I, I, pit I was a pit crew with Ted Musgrave, Ultra Motorsports. Ted Musgrave, right on. Okay, yeah. cool. In and my then, rookie year, I was with Jason Leffler, actually. Oh, Jason okay. Leffler. May he rest in peace. I got a little pit experience. I was down there and they said, Doug, whatever you do, don't get run over. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, it, and it's real. I got, I've, been hit, I've gotten hit by three different race cars. <laughs> so it's, it's real. Who tell you don't get, don't get hit? They mean it. They're giving you good advice. <laughs> How's it going, man? It's going great, brother. You're looking good. Great. Have you done this before? Um, a time or two, okay. or a time or two of the 17 years that this has been going on. I've probably done at least 15 of them. Oh, right on. Yeah. All right, so you know how to golf then. No, no I'm, I didn't say that. <laughs> I just know how to dress the part and to show up. All those fucking songs are in the same way. Never get caught off by surprise with mariachi music. In the end, tan tan. Welcome everybody to these. How many years? Seventeen. Then you all. You know. <laughs> you know, 17 years, a lot of people come from a lot of different places in the world to, to be here, but there's only one person that comes back from the dead. <laughs> Monster. Piece of shit. Uh, everybody comes from, from this, this club charges way too much for this thing not to be working. Uh, <laughs> serious. It's a lot of money to, to be a member here. So this shit ought to be stellar. Top of the line. There's a lot of people come from Australia, Germany, Asia, Korea, Asia, <laughs> Alhambra. <laughs> but uh, only one person has come back from the dead. Let it give a nice round of applause to Dracula, everybody. Dracula, thank you so much. 
He says, I get up out of the coffin every morning, but rarely do I leave. Thank you. The um, 17th Annual Foundation, I'll tell you, we've had better looking people here though, but that's all right. Um, the, uh, that's just a shout out to some of the people here from other South. We have Mr. Edward James Olmos here. Louder, because he's like, like 87. <laughs> Just make sure you don't see my name. <laughs> At Denny's, he's still, the waitress is still waiting to take his order. <laughs> no, excuse me? Olmos <laughs> on my hand, me. <laughs> We're giving our award to somebody that I met uh, probably 20 years ago with Oscar De La Hoya, the studio's like a, just a great guy, very, always been a great supporter of the foundation, and this year we're honoring him, it's, it's been too long, but he's here every year, and um, this thing isn't responsible for, you know, without uh, his support, so, uh, he was a gymnast on the Olympic team in 1980, last night he told me, for, he trained for 15 years, that's when they boycotted, uh, Mike Wilson, are you out there? Come and do the Iron Cross for a couple people here. Can you still do the Iron Cross? Don't do it, wait. Don't do it. We need some young people here. Uh, we need a couple of young guys. I do, but, you know, for, for right now. All right. Uh, so thank you, Michael, for all your support, dude. I told you last night. We met a long time ago, and you are what you said you are, and that's very, very rare in people that always give back and never have any other uh, thing to say, but other than to just to support uh, my foundation with Linda and so on. Thank you, man. And I'm humbled and honored, all right, on, on uh, behalf of the foundation and Linda to give you this yeah. guitar and Epiphone. Woo! There's nicer ones, but this is all right. <laughs> now we're going for something a little more high end. But if I don't write on it, I'm some other good ones. <laughs> is Tommy Thayer here? Is Tommy Thayer from Kiss and the Maltese Falcon? Don't tell me where my brother Oscar got it from. Um, this is for you, man. This is. Um, um, in recognition of your outstanding commitment to build a strong foundation, leading hope to kidney patients and to kidney families. So, thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, Mike! Yeah. Woo. Can you tune this up? Yeah, yeah. I'm good at that. Tommy Thayer was in KISS, everybody. KISS, 50 years. They just celebrated 50 years. And, uh, is it in tune? <laughs> yeah, sounds perfect. <laughs> I was at Madison Square Garden. It's the exact same sound that you guys had on. No, 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 no. No, not you. <laughs> Which is the other guy? No, no. So thank you, Tommy. Thanks for coming back, Tommy. Michael, thank you, everybody. Uh, what else do we have, Linda? Do we still have marijuana out? Do we still have marijuana? I mean, <laughs> Dracula, hang on, but they also have a steak for your heart made out of hemp. <laughs> Uh, Joe Mantegna. Joe Mantegna is here. Yeah. Zaza from Goodfellas. Also read the book Thinner. Maybe one of the worst narrations I've ever heard. <laughs> Ching, uh, can't get past the first chapter. <laughs> but thank you, Joe. For fucking up a $19.99 book by Stephen King. <laughs> Roland Martin is here from Houston. Anybody leaving early? You can take him with you. <laughs> All the men in the world flies arrow. <laughs> also, this young man right here, I met probably 10 years ago in the middle of the night, 39 cents a day. He said, hey man, I'm 39 cents a day. I said, yes. The great Ben Baller, everybody. Ben Baller did the chain, did some slides, did a divorce. Did, no, everything's happening all at once. Not everything happens at once is good. Uh, who else do we see here? Oh, also somebody here who just had a wonderful birthday celebration. All of his friends, all of his family. I was there this last week getting hair. I'm still finding hair on my jackets and hair glue, by the way. Uh, let's re all wish Cedric the Entertainer. Cedric the Entertainer! Yeah. Star of the neighborhood. The Honeymooners single-handedly brought down a franchise. Single-handedly. Hold out, Carney was still alive. Also someone here who 
We all know we all know Buzz Lightyear. Yeah. Is that you? <laughs> Mr. Yeah. Tim Allen is here. Mr. Tim Allen. Yeah. I allow only one red hat. This is it. Yeah. Buzz Lightyear, Santa Claus. Yeah. He's the man. Oh, he was on. He's the sheriff with Suzanne Summers. Also, someone here who is a legendary. I don't think he's the one that snorted ants, but he was with the guys who snorted ants. Tommy, Tommy Lee from Motley Crue. Oh, yeah. Tommy Lee. Tommy Lee and his son Brandon. Tommy Lee is clean. How long have you been clean? Almost two years. I bumped into him. I got fucked up. <laughs> Some sweat went into me. And I was at ICU up in Cedars. <laughs> Uh, also someone who, you know, usually when you work with your mom, it's, I worked with my grandmother in like 80, I hated every second of it, but only what, sometimes when you work with your mom, does it work out. The star of Blackish, Kangaroo Jack, <laughs> diabetic nerve under his feet damage, you've seen that campaign. Uh, he's also working, he said, I'm in talks with George with closing the deal with varicose veins. Anthony Anderson. Yes. All about the Andersons. He's growing that beard. He's going to start, next year they start shooting Sounder. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Anthony. Anthony, man. That's, and, hey, and that's not Madeira or Zampic. Yeah. That's hard work. <laughs> that's just good old-fashioned calisthenics. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he's here. Emilio Rivera is here, star of Mayans and Yara. Don't get too close. Yeah, you'll set off his ankle bracelet. Thank you for coming. He's, he's the only one that his ankle bracelet beeps like cucaracha. From the 1984 championship team. The Chicago Bears, somebody who still looks like he could play, but nobody looks like this. Huh? Mr. Willie Gull. Yeah, Where's Willie Gull? Willie? Run by here. You see? Did you see? He's still fat. Oh, I told him, whatever body fat you don't want, give it to me. He said, it's on the way. Uh, D.L. Hughley is here. Great comedian, career movie, never really took off, but as a comedian, <laughs> unprecedented. I googled him to see what movies, and it just came back with that dude with a lens. He had two lenses, like, I can't find, the other Jesus said, I can't find shit underneath. <laughs> if you Google D.L. Hughley. Um, there's only one, there's only one of these in the world. Yeah. Yeah. There was only one. Well, one Tracy Lords. There's only one of this this gentleman here. This gentleman was is from the proud city of Detroit. Hell yeah! He is in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. He is in the Soul Music Hall of Fame. One of the one of the members of the Miracles. Also lost a bunch of money on Dick Gregory's uh, powder drink. <laughs> we found it from that. And he's here with us today. Somebody said use cat hair. It's an investment. It works. <laughs> Mr. Smokey uh, Robinson. Yeah. Louder. The deal is a lot of shows. The volume's always up. Smokey Robinson. People say I'm the life of the party, because that's how I joke it to you. And not that they might be laughing loud and hearty, but deep inside, I'm Jewish. <laughs> Thank you, Smokey Robinson. Thank you. Uh, he's wearing something from the Jesse Owens collection. <laughs> I don't know if the Olympics are around the corner. <laughs> Yancy Trevet is here. I don't know his last name, everybody welcome to the motherfucking Nancy. Yancy Trevette, star of Kingpin, all three episodes on NBC. <laughs> There's also someone here who's also 
a rock star. You know, just because a dude fixes your transmission way at three days earlier, he's not a rock star. You're a rock, you rock, dude. This one, this guy is, and I love this guy. Comes back. They just had a show in Las Vegas from Allison Chains, Mr. Jerry Cantrell. Jerry Cantrell from Allison Chains. I'm gonna get you back that guitar, man. I left it in my garage, so your car was open. <laughs> that was your main guitar, right? It was. Yeah, his somebody somebody took his guitar from his car. That his main main guitar is still out there. Got it back. You got it back. Yeah. There you go. Reward? Did you offer reward or? No, it was just a dumb move. I misplaced it. Uh, <laughs> what's gonna happen when you're a rock star? You don't know where the where you left your groupies. I get it. <laughs> from the wonderful show Home Improvement, back to Tim Allen, number one. I like what Tim Allen said years ago at an ABC. He said. My show was number one when number one was number one. Not number one comedy, his show was number one. And here are Tim Allen, Richard Karn, and the Tool Time uh, woman. <laughs> Debbie Dunning. <laughs> Richard Kim, his name, I think his name is Richard Kim. He also gets you an elevator that you'll never fall off if you're up late at night or if you go to bed early like me. Uh, you can set your DVR. To, Tim's already he's, been up here. He's selling the flex hose. The Anybody? pocket hose. It's the pocket yeah, hose. Yeah, I, I can relate to that. I've had a pocket hose. <laughs> it's a grower, not a shower. Yeah. Thank you. All right, you guys. Thank you for coming. Thanks for coming back. Peter McKenzie from Blackish. Off did my show. Peter McKenzie, right there, my man. Chingon, always Chingon. You know your white dudes try too hard. Hey, George, Chingon. Chingon. Chingon, George. Or could I call you Jorge? Don't call me. Yes. From the hit show Lopez. No, it's not. Oh, not yet. It's growing. Mr. Al Madrigal is here. The pride of Half Moon Bay. Also, Michael Irby, who was in Barry, one of the best shows ever on TV. Barry and. He was the bishop in the Mayans leading the motorcycle gang who destroyed really just the reputation of any Latino on TV in seven seasons. Uh, Michael Irby. And also, before Barack Obama, there was an African American president and he was on 24 and his name is Dennis Haysbert. And there he is right there. Dennis Haysbert. Everybody might recognize him except Latinos from Allstate with the insurance. We're like, ah. Flaming Hot from Flaming Hot Cheetos. Oh, all decked out. He'll be doing some songs later on from Cab Calloway. <laughs> Mini the Moocher. I think he's going to start with Mini the Moocher. Yeah, no, thank you, man. I, I, I appreciate that. I'm just saying that. Just trying to kill him. We're good. We're good. Who is? I don't know that <laughs> Nicholas Gonzalez from Narcos. The good doctor. Also did. All the way in the back. Oh, there he is. Still fine. Still fine. Still fine. He's still fine. Who else is here? Um, Sarah Hyland and Wells. Yes, yeah, Sarah Hyland. Thank you. And Wells, thank you guys. Last year they got married here on this exact course on this day. Thank you guys for coming, and uh, I appreciate all the support. Have, have Bruce Springsteen is he, who? Bruce Springsteen. Hey, John. Richard Schiff, one of the baddest actors around. Richard Schiff is here. He's the he. Edward James almost wants to be Richard. He's out of the Richard Schiff from West Wing, behind the green door with any sparkle. Richard, welcome back, brother. Right there. You're an amazing actor, an incredible actor, incredible. Well, there's a lot of actors here that are not as good, but that dude right there, top of the list. <laughs> He's the top of the list. He's the real deal. He's the real deal. Alyssa Kesar. Kesar. And they're gonna hit the ceremonial first tee shot here. Thank you all the media, all the photographers. Thank you, Lakeside for uh, having uh, us do this tournament again. And uh, not for my people, but for everybody else. Put your sunblock on, please. Put that sunblock on because you will fry. Jack Wagner, Jack Wagner. 
<laughs> they, they, when they ask me who the best celebrity golfer is, it's right there. Jack Wagner. Jack Wagner, thanks for coming back. Best golfer here. All right, take it easy. It's a very good point. I mean, entertainment and sports today.